car flaw. God damn. All right, anyway. All right, getting into this game one here, we've got uh, Dill versus <coughs> Dill versus Zane. We've got the Rob versus the Minecraft. All right, I like what Zane's doing right there, throwing the gyro upwards, uh, trying to you know just make sure that it's out of play, and Dill can't toss another one. The Uppy just going right through the gyro. All right. Zane making it back to stage, back to the stage, but not really finding much percentage on Dill right now. Only 18 percent. Here, what's up, guys? Yo, what's up? Good, just good. So, what's what's happening here? Uh, we got Zane versus Dill going on. And Zane going. Zane going to the Minecraft. Okay, Steve. Okay. Yeah, cool. uh, Zane took it over Dill last week with uh, with Alex. God bless. Yeah, man, like, th this character is such a momentum killer, and I feel like, you know, a character like Rob who thrives off of momentum and thrives off of just, like, killing all life, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like Minecraft Steve is kind of like a, a good pick against Rob, right? You kind of, like, set up your own, literally set up your own tent, set up your own space. Yeah, I agree. Especially, you know, to help with all the uh, full screen, like, laser and gyro oh, harassment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a big part of Rob's game plan, right? The constant gyro harassment. And I feel like uh, Steve can definitely mitigate some of that. Ooh, okay, but arm rotor. Dill taking first blood. Yeah, yeah, take the situation down to um, no time. Coming up from Tiggy. But Zane using that angel platform to, to get diamond tools. So almost getting the gyro into forward air. Yeah, and Zane using the gyro to their advantage. Um, gyro to down air. That, that was definitely a thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Diamonds? Okay, good. SDI coming up from Dill. Okay, double fair. Steve can't really do anything about it. Yeah, Steve can't... The thing about Steve is that, like, Steve on hit is kind of wild, but Steve really can't mash out of a lot of these things that happen to him. So, kind of have to push your Ooh. advantage really hard. Great tech by Dill right there. With punish that yep. laser with a back air? Yep, diamond back air at like 75, I think Dill was, and she just died. Zane's already got another diamond in the bank right now. Yeah, and and, and I feel like this, like, if I were Dill, like, I would need to take this stock pretty fast, right? Because Zane, diamond hand Zane right now, um, you don't want to eat damage like this. Ooh, and it just keeps coming. Yeah, Zane just trying to get out the corner. Yeah, and Dill put on some pressure. Yeah, Jarrow getting on off stage. And oh, no. I thought we were going to see a Rotom on. Right? All right. Dill looking to find this kill right now, but already 80% Zane putting on all the extra credit. And it's so crazy because normally you'd see Rob in a situation swing with up air, but like the fear of the down air just coming out of nowhere is just something that everybody always has in the back of their head, so there's no aerial pressure sometimes. Mm hmm. Sorry, Gyro just deleting the mind guard. Controller not gonna do it just yet. Okay. All right, I think up throw should be doing it. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, was, was, that, was that a punch on shield? Did Zane try to punch Dill shield? I think so. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. Um. But I mean, already Zane diamonds are back in hand. Okay, yeah. Try to re try to read a roll and didn't get it. Now uh, Dill's in the offensive. Right, but good spacing by Dill right now, trying to space her way right outside of the range of those uh, aerials. Yeah, and I feel like right now Zane is kind of tunnel visually too much on the back air, and not really playing neutral like they were earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it, it's because right now they're solely looking for the kill, and it's kind of like to their detriment right now, because Dill has just been playing playing her normal game, and uh, you know Zane has been losing ground. Okay. But the up smash, that will do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you know what? It, you know, Zane's pretty lucky because I feel like, uh, man, I, I feel like they were fishing pretty hard for that back air and <laughs> almost lost the game for that. But, you know, clutched it out in the end. Um, yeah, up smash, caught Dill jumping on his shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, good, you know, good stuff by Zane.
Yep, that was a jump out of shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and Dill knew, because like, cause in the event that Dill shields that whole thing, that's an up smash of her, of her own, and probably would have killed Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that so. much rage. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, you know, interested to see where we go from here. No FDs, uh, Smashville. Hovering over Battlefield, Dill might be taking it back. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. Like, you know, if I were Dill, uh, so what? That's like literally one one interaction away from being that being your game. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I could definitely, I could definitely see it. Yeah, and, yeah, and you know, one thing that Zane was doing very well was just uh, sharking Dill's landing options. Also, making Dill afraid of. Um, swing on them in the air, right? Something mm -hmm. that I was mentioning earlier, just like making sure that they respect the anvil coming down from the air, even stalling in the air a little bit, just trying to uh, deter Dill from approaching in that way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see how this game two goes. A nice parry there by Zane. Dill using these platforms to her advantage right now, uh, not trying to get in that threat zone of uh, Alex right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and Zane's, de uh, Zane's definitely looking for it. Yeah, try trying to hold the corner and get a fair started. And, um, you know, Dill's not letting them. Mm -hmm. Nice up air to catch uh, Zane coming out of the mine cart. Zane looking to find some space for themselves with the, the dirt blocks. Yeah, and, and, and Dill nearing the dirt blocks to no avail. Ooh, wow! Not getting Missed a the gyro setup. hit. I'm very surprised that it whiffed completely. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty thin hurt box on the Minecraft characters. Yeah. yeah and Zane's building walls, trying to man mine some more material. Yeah, and man, and Dill is not dealing with this wall wall at all, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's an important thing in Smash. If you need to know how to deal with the wall that Steve's built, that Steve builds, and be able to put on some type of pressure, and I feel like right now uh, she's not doing that. Yeah, and I mean, the worst part is, as this match goes on, it's probably gonna get worse because of uh, Battlefield having the higher like iron count. Too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see the setup. Yeah, I got the diamonds on deck. Yeah, and Dill just flying over that whole setup, just not even, not even dealing with it. Right now, right now she's cornering Zane, trying to dash attack their way to, to the first stop. Yeah, and, and I mean, if Dill is able to get this first stock, you know, that's going to be huge for her because Zane kind of cashed out on the, the diamonds pretty early. You know, they're already at getting the kill percentage. So if if Zane is not able to take this first stock, you know, that could be a pretty big loss. Yeah, yeah. In terms I, of I, resources. I like, yeah, yeah, and I feel like in terms of resources in a matchup like this, I feel like, man, either character can hold the lead really strong. And now Rob with the lead. Um, we're gonna see how Zane gets in. Yeah, and there it is. Diamonds are, you know, officially off the table. Zane didn't have any in reserve. Footstool, damn, that was gross. That was actually disgusting. That 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 was an optimal front. Mm -hmm. um. Okay. Nice roll back to center stage from Dill. Now the wood walls are in. You know, gonna be even. Yeah. Even tougher to get through than the dirt walls. Yeah, yeah, you know, just trying to nair through it. Now, you know, I'm surprised we haven't been seeing more down tilt coming out from Rob on those um, on those walls, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the double minecart hit. That's terrible. <laughs> okay, down there, yeah, stalling. Yep, Zane making making the percents even right now. And that's the prime example of why Zane has not been getting hit in the air a lot. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. Wrong laser. Yeah, Zane's been trying to punish that laser off the corner for the whole game. All right, I love I love the jump away from Dill right there. She even made it out with her gyro. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, another good gyro. Yeah, good gyro play. Yeah, near hitting below the ledge. Looking for an F tilt to end it, but just barely the neutral air not doing it. Bill trying to time that, didn't get the punish, and now she's off stage. Oh no, that, oh my god, Rob's too big. He's a, he's a big boy. Rob is actually too big. Oh, okay. 
no punish on the whiff up smash. Zane going to be living it just barely above 200%. Okay. Okay, nothing off the up air. Yeah, having a little bit too high percent. So Dill was able to just make her way back to the ledge. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and Zane, uh, Zane was trying to get that punish off of that wall break. And another whiff up smash. And I think it's maybe looking a little bit too hard for this kill mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, and that's something we saw last game too. Zane just like really pushing the envelope with trying to look for these kills. And you know, yeah, Dill, yeah, Dill's really struggling with that wall. Yeah. But I mean, you know, this time Zane doesn't even have diamond tools in hand. Yeah. We did hear, uh, you know, Zane did get the diamond, but see if Dill will give him a chance to, to craft it. There they are. Yeah, and, and, and this is what I'm talking about. Dill's just being very patient now with the stop lead, letting Zane approach it. And you know what? You know, Steve doesn't really have the greatest approach options, right? I feel like Steve's more of a defensive character. But as I say that, 44%. Yep. Could have gotten more if uh, Zane didn't run out of uh, material. Ooh, nice back air. Not from Zane to break that combo. Still just taking it taking it slow right now. Yeah. And and so is Zane, you know, just slowly, slowly approaching. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. Oh, the Phantom? That was crazy. That anvil to back air was insane. Yo, off stage again has to get hat. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Dill literally got caught reaching. Um. And I feel like Zane was trying to prep for that. That's why they were throwing out that down tilt like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, Dill actually likes that mix up on the at, at the edge with the up air, right? Just boosting at the last minute. And Zane just read that, and she's just like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like we see Dill do that a lot. Is the, you know, j hovering just below the ledge and then jumping up with a hitbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Insanely close set. It was you know still two zero by Zane, which is you know. Mhm. Mm two zero, but it was close. Yeah, yeah, two zero, but close though. Ooh, uh, that feels is, cool. is, is isn't isn't that an emo? It's an emo, right? Is it? I think it is. It's an emo. Yeah, yeah. Um. You could use it if you subscribe. Uh, 6969, who did that? <laughs> oh, okay. I yeah, Barge, to... you missed a lot. Before you go, uh, I will show you uh, the, the Macharino Wars that have been going on. The Macharino's been in a, an emotional roller coaster tonight. So, I guess all the yelling helped, right? Right? <laughs> all right, so it'll load up. 